Okay, next we're going to talk about enums. And I know enums are not, again, not quite editor scripting, but they're going to be important because it allows us to give a little drop down, which we can use for selections and, you know, organizing our data. Uh, it's pretty handy and it can get a little confusing for beginners. So I thought it was worth making a separate video for that. What I would like is to be able to determine the monster type, right? Like, so I have a skeleton. Uh, maybe I have vampire, maybe I have zombie, but all of those are undead. So I want to be able to determine the type. So humanoid, dragon, undead, whatever else you can think of, magical, right? So I want to be able to define the type as a little drop down, very similar to how main camera, how, you know, we can have little drop downs for selection. And later on, we'll be able to do some fancier stuff with that. So to do that, we would use something called an enum. And to set that up, you mainly need two things. You need the definition and then you need it, you need to instantiate it, right? Like you need to make a an actual object from the definition. So the definition is these are the types that it can be. And then here is a specific one. Like this is the monster type of this object as a variable. So let's set that up. Um, it's just like making a class. So to make this enum, we're going to create a new script called monster type. Technically, you could create the enum inside of the same script as you know other scripts if you want, but I'm just going to keep it clean and keep it separate. So I'm going to open this up. Now, instead of being a new class, this is going to be a new enum of type monster type. And you'll see that the text changes color a little bit. This is not inheriting from anything. We're going to get rid of all that. Get real nice and clean. So monster type, then we can think of all the different types of monsters we may want. We might have none, for example, and we'll just put a comma. We'll do undead, we'll do humanoid. What a, we said dragon. And something that you'll see commonly when it comes to enums is it's kind of handy to be able to break it out line by line just so you can read it real, real easily. Um, you can also define specifically that you want this to start at zero. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we can convert an enum into an integer later on so that we can do some fancy math type checking. So if we want to get the first uh, type inside of the enum, like we just want to get none, then we can convert this to a value and we can do some checks with that. You don't have to worry about that yet, but uh, just a little handy thing. We're just saying we want this to start counting at zero instead of one or, or whatever. So this is our definition. You could think of this as the cookie cutter, but still we need to take that cookie cutter and make a cookie, right? We need to stamp out a cookie. So we know what this monster type can be, but let's actually create one of those. So inside of our monster, now that we have our monster type definition over here, uh, we're going to come over here and we'll put that under name, I think. And we'll do, again, serialize field. We'll call this private monster type. Right, That is the type of thing it is. We always put the, uh, the type and then give the variable its name. We'll just do underscore monster type. If we wanted to assign this, just to show you that I can assign a default, we would say equals, we say monster type dot, and then we just say which one of these. All right, we have to access the monster type and then go inside of here and say which one we want. Uh, so this is how we would assign it. If at any point we wanted to change the monster typing code, we would do that. And just to show you how this looks, if we were to come down here, let's say void awake, Let's say if you wanted to compare a monster type. So actually, let me save this and show you. So we have our monster, and if we click down here, you can see we get a monster type, which is a nice little drop down. So we could say a uh, monster type is undead. Now, that, that's only handy if we can use that to compare things, right? So if we come back into our script, we could do a little check here. We could say if monster type, right, this is our variable, it can be a little bit confusing if, you, if you're if you just looking at the syntax, but uh, variable is equal to give it the type we want to compare it to, which is monster type dot, uh, let's say undead. If this is a type of undead monster, use the holy water something, right? We're just testing it, just having a little fun. So when I press play, uh, we should see in the console the little pop-up to use the holy water, but only if this monster is of type undead. All right, so we're using our comparison. Let's get our console window. Here we go, Alrighty, right there. Okay, now we got it. Press play. Assuming this is of type undead, we should see the pop-up. 
use the holy water, right? But if this is not undead, right? can't use holy water on a dragon, doesn't really do much. Hit play, right? So our comparison does not return true. So this is, this is kind of handy, right? Like you can assign types and sometimes you may want an object to be a type of thing. So it's either this, that, or that, right? Like that's how to think about enums. It's one of these things, which is it? Or, you know, none could be an option if it's none of those things, if you want. We don't have to have none as an option, right? Like we would need to specify if it's undead, humanoid, or dragon. If it's not any of those things, then we'd have a problem, but you can leave out the option for none if you want. I'm just gonna keep it in because I think it's good practice if we don't know exactly what our parameters are yet. Okay, so that's enums. This should help you clean up your code and your, um, your data just a little bit. I know there's an argument for just a lot of times not using enums and making this a separate class as well because you can actually do more stuff with it and instead of just being like a random comparison because if you use enums too many places, you get into like switch statements and whatnot. We're not worried about that. Yeah, right. We're just talking about ways that we can organize the editor. And uh, you can see this is very clean. We can use this for comparison. It draws to the inspector window very nicely. And it's something we may want for our tool. So uh, we'll continue to explore this in future videos.